In this video, I'm going to talk about the SN2 mechanism, and I'm going to talk about it on a very, very generic level. So let's draw a generic electrophile. For an SN2 mechanism, you usually have either a primary or secondary um, carbon atom attached to a good leaving group. So that's why it's generic. I'm just talking about it in terms of a leaving group. Now, in this mechanism, it's a bimolecular mechanism. SN2 means bimolecular, both um, substances are important to have in the rate determining step. So the leaving group cannot just leave as it does in a SN1 mechanism because if the leaving group were just to leave, we would be left with a primary carbocation. Primary carbocations are very, very high in energy and they don't really occur because of how high in energy they are. So we're not just going to have the, car, the leaving group leave as it does in an SN1. Instead, we have the nucleophile push out the leaving group in a bimolecular reaction. The product of this is that now the nucleophile is attached to the carbon skeleton and the leaving group has just left. So in that case, that's the one-step mechanism for the SN2. And let's look and see what happens with the energy level diagram. We have our reactants, which are both the carbon that has the leaving group, the electrophile, as well as our nucleophile. And then we have our products, in which the nucleophile has been substituted in for that leaving group. There's no intermediate in this step. It all occurs in one step. And so all we have is a transition state between the two. The transition state is the bonds forming and breaking at the same time before they're fully formed or fully broken. The interesting aspect about the transition state for an SN2 reaction is that it is a pentavalent transition state. So we have on one side the leaving group leaving that's to the carbon atom. It's a primary carbon atom, so two of the things it's attached to are hydrogens, and then another carbon. So this is my methane molecule with the leaving group. So while the leaving group is leaving, the nucleophile is coming in. These bonds aren't fully made or fully broken. It's a transition state, so they're in transit to being formed or broken. But you can see that this is a pentavalent transition state. We have four, five things going on, pentavalent, in the transition state. And there you have it. The nucleophilic attack, it's really a one-step mechanism, so this is the slow step, so it is the rate-determining step.